Hello and welcome to this um, short video. Uh, we're going to talk about leader in high dynamic range live production. My name is Kevin Selvage. I'm the European Regional Development Manager for Leader Europe based in London in the UK. And if you have any questions concerning this presentation or any leader products, please don't hesitate to contact me on the numbers currently on display on the screen. So as I said, today we're going to talk about the challenges of high dynamic range live production. And we have some challenges here. So the vast majority of broadcast production companies earn their revenues from HD SDR productions. However, talk to all of them and 4K UHD in both standard dynamic range and high dynamic range are at the top of the demands for future deliverables. So most of the production cameras can handle wide dynamic range, much wider than the current ITU 709 specification, but need a complex post-production workflow, which is not applicable for live production. HDSDR is currently 1080-50i in BT709 color space. 4K stroke UHD is 50p in BT2020 color space and high dynamic range. And both signals are required to be available in the best possible quality. And as we saw with 3D, it's economically impossible to run two different productions live. Which is the challenge we're facing with standard dynamic range and high dynamic range. So a parallel production workflow is required that can satisfy both signal format demands. That being 4K UHD and HDR and HD 1080i in standard dynamic range or 1080p in HDR. So courtesy of Sony we have these images that clearly identify the challenges that standard dynamic range has and our high dynamic range overcomes them. As you can see, the image on the left is standard dynamic range and the darker areas of the picture, it's very difficult to make out any of the detail. And if you look at the sky, you can see no detail in the clouds. Whereas the image on the right, which is a high dynamic range image, you can see the details in the darker areas of the picture including the line numbering on the pitch but you can also see the details in the clouds as well and this is what high dynamic range brings to live production so to enable a single production in both standard dynamic range and high dynamic range is the challenge and you need real-time live painting and control on the high dynamic range signals for artistic adjustment. You need a separate control of gain and black level for high dynamic range and stroke standard dynamic range signals. And HDR and SDR signals can be handled simultaneously during the production. And the electrical to optical transfer support for S log 3, hybrid log gamma, and PQ is required. Fortunately, all of the products in the Leader Zen series support high dynamic range analysis as a software license key. Which means the unit doesn't need to be returned to an accredited service center for upgrade. It can be upgraded in situ without any downtime for the production. As well as hybrid log gamma, SMPTE 2084PQ and S-Log3, Analysis of C log and log C is available with the leader software license. And leader products also support HD HDR operation. So if you're not moving on to 4K UHD, the tools will provide you with the analysis that you need. So how do we do it? So once again on the right, we have an image courtesy of Sony, which shows both the 709 color space and the 2020 color space 
with the luminous components that make up high dynamic range. And here we have the CIE color chart showing the luminance components within color space. On the waveform, we have the graphical showing the luminance component and the thresholds for 18% grey and your 90% reference. Then we have the traditional vector scope display, uh, which colorists and vision engineers are very familiar with. And then finally, we have Leader's Cinezone Force Color HDR display. And we'll talk about that in a little more detail now. So you have this false color display image where any part of the picture that is monochrome is standard dynamic range. And then any part of the picture that is colored from blue through green to red is a high dynamic range component. And if anything is purple, it means even an HDR display will clip the image. It's been overexposed, it's been overdriven. As I mentioned, fortunately, all of the leader products support HDR analysis as a software license. And the LV5350 is a half 19 inch rack by three rack unit high unit. And we have a rasterizer, which is a half 19 inch rack by one rack unit making it ideally suited for vision engineering positions in both OB trucks and studio galleries. The LV5600 waveform monitor and LV7600 rasterizer are also HDR compatible. And these units have four 3G SDI inputs. And this makes them ideally suited for HDR supervisor and engineering charge positions. So the big challenge we have in a live environment is managing both the standard dynamic range output and the high dynamic range output. And this is compounded where you may be capturing using a transfer characteristic that is not actually going to be broadcast. Unfortunately, on the leader LV 5600 and 7600, we have the ability to simultaneously display four different transfer characteristics in HD. So this allows you to monitor your HDR off, or SDR as we commonly refer to it, HLG, PQ, and SLOG3. So again, making the tool ideal for the HDR supervisor who has to monitor all of the outputs leaving the vehicle. And like with the waveform, we can also use the Cinezone Force Color Display to display the four different transfer characteristics. So our standard dynamic range picture, our hybrid log gamma force color display, our PQ force color display, and S-Log3 force color display. Now, Sony have added to their range of cameras what they call SR Live metadata. And Leader are proud to be able to announce that all of the Zen series products can read this metadata. And it will be displayed, as you can see on the screen here, where items number one through 10, highlighted in yellow, detail the HDR component of the picture. And as you can see, you've got the optical to transfer, which is hybrid log gamma. And then you've got the transfer matrix BT2020 and a lot of information concerning the setup for the HDR acquisition. All of the items in white refer to the standard dynamic range output. So this allows you to recreate the SDR output from the HDR material. Leader can also display this with the picture using our false color Cinezone HDR display. So here we have the image on the left with the HDR transfer characteristic applied and the image on the right is the standard dynamic range. So thank you once again for joining us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. If you like this video, you know what to do. And please subscribe to the Leader Europe YouTube channel 
where we'll keep posting more information about the features and benefits of Leader's Tester Measurement products.